Virgo. Welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Going to do your love reading from the time you're listening to this video, January 24th, all the way through February 24th. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. Um, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. So, do you see the table, Virgos? All the cards are out. And the reason all the cards are out is because right before year this video started, I recorded an entire reading, but I accidentally, dentally, recorded it in time-lapse mode. <laughs> and it had no volume. So I thought, okay, what am I going to do? So I tried to go in and fix it, but you know, I can't fix it. So what we're going to do is, this reading was so good, and I just, I'm not letting it escape me. So we're going to we're going to do the reading, okay? But I'm going to go from the ending to the beginning, okay? So we're going to start from the outcome all the way to the beginning of the reading, okay? So bear with me. This is new. <laughs> it's actually something I kind of been wanting to try. Um, we're going to get right to the point, Virgo. It looks like you're getting or possibly engaged. There's a relationship that will be ascending to a higher level of commitment. Now, I want to make a little, let me be clear. Let me be very, very clear. When I talk about love relationships, sometimes I am talking about romantic relationships. Other times, I will be talking about your sister or your friend or your parent. Um, sometimes it's just a relationship with good coworkers. That is up to you to decide. But in, in the case of love in a romantic relationship, um, yes, that is here, okay? I do see this energy showing up here throughout this time period. But I also see that there's a needing to heal some type of family issues or a relationship with someone that may or may not involve children. It may ha it may involve children or be a lack of children, okay? Now, listen, Virgo, I need you to know something, right? I see you here. You're looking for that deep, deep, mountain-shaking, earth-rumbling love in your life, right? Because that's what Virgo and the earth signs in general are about. Virgo, you want to be moved by your senses, okay? Um, and I feel like you're going to have a decision to make. Um, there's definitely going to be some type of an offer being made to you um, that's going to come in really fast, really quick, um, where you're going to have to, or you may be forced to weigh it out. You know, I, Virgo, I kind of feel like for you, it's like an offer comes in, very quickly, possibly a proposal or something along those lines. And Virgo, I don't see you rushing to say, yeah, I kind of feel like your energy is like, you know what? You're bringing this to me right now. I'm in the middle of eating my steak. Can I just get back to you? Can you, can I pencil you in with this proposal? Like Virgo, I feel like your energy right now and going through this month is, I don't know if this is something that I want to do, okay? And it's Cupid's arrows. I mean, this is love energy. This is good. This is positive. This is good news. But Virgo, you're kind of in this. This is, to me, always like the female or the feminine version of the hermit, okay? Either way, whatever sex you are, it doesn't matter. What You know, mask, it's all energy, masculine or feminine, whatever. Um, you're in this, like mysterious mode here you're kind of like i feel like you're being viewed this way at this time you're not saying anything you're kind of trusting your intuition about you know what you want to do okay because virgo i i feel like the reason for all of this is because you've had some type of wound in the past okay you've had someone or something has happened in the past where you know you felt burned or there might have been like a third party interference, whether that was a person, another person, a place or a thing or people, whatever the situation is, like you're kind of like a wounded warrior here and you've got somebody coming in here who's like raring to go, like dropping them love drops, love bombs, candies, whatever, giving you the smooches and the kisses and all this stuff. And Virgo's like, 
you know, I got to look at my schedule. I, I don't know if I can fit you in. You know, I got a lot on my plate. You know, I'm, I'm working my butt off here. Look at me. I've been doing good. I'm doing consistent. I don't know if I want a relationship to come in. And, you know, I don't know because relationships can be difficult to navigate sometimes. And they can, you know, um, when everything, like when your boat's floating, <laughs> somebody else gets in that boat, they have a tendency to rock that boat. So Virgo, you might just, or, you know, that happens, right? Um, I don't know, Virgo. I don't think you want that boot, that boot. I don't think you want, I think you want the boots to be knocking, but I don't think you want the boat to be rocking. I'm just saying, <laughs> Virgo's like, we can knock boots, but get the fuck out of my boat, right? <laughs> I feel like your energy here, I don't know, this looks like a pretty serious thing. Aries, Taurus, um, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, um, Pisces, Cancer, um, Scorpio, yeah, Virgo, um, Libra, Aquarius, there's a lot of energy playing out here at this time <laughs> going forward, Virgo. But I feel like Virgo's like, I, Virgo, you're, you seem to be waiting for the one who is going to knock you off your feet in more ways than one. Well, that's what you're looking for. You're not, I don't feel like Virgo, you're you're very unique. Okay. I, I feel like you're not trying to fall in line with the typical uh role that everyone is supposed to play. A lot of you have already done that. A lot of you already did that whole, you know, graduated, went to college, settled down, got married, had kids the whole nine yards and some of you haven't done that yet and some of you may want that but you might be rethinking it during this time period um because here it comes the actual thing actually shows up here and look i'm not gonna um, listen i want to keep it real not all of you this is going to happen so if, if like you're getting excited you know don't get your hopes up until it's time to get your hopes up virgo okay don't get your hopes up on a reading until it's time to get your hopes up in real life right and even then don't get your hopes up too high because there's no guarantees in anything, right? So I do feel like, um, yeah, I feel like Virgo, for some of you, this could have a connection to your parents or you could have a friend who's getting back with an ex or it could be an ex for you or somebody new coming in. I, I'm not, I don't have any ace cards here, so it's highly unlikely this is somebody new. That's just you're going to meet like on a Thursday afternoon and they're going to propose and you say yes. Like, I mean, I could see if your energy is like, Becca, brother, what's the matter with you? But some of you, I mean, if you say yes, you know, <laughs> I mean, okay, I don't know what kind of Virgo you are, but that's not a Virgo thing generally. But I feel like whoever this person is, you know, you might be in disagreement with someone close to you who's getting back together with someone. Um, and there might, they, they might ask you for your blessing, or they might ask you to be a part of, they're going to like renew their vows and some, you know, whoever it is during this time period. And I feel like you're kind of like, oh, you're at a crossroads there, you know, um, because you want to support your friend or your sibling or whoever it is, but there was some bad juju that happened between them and you're kind of like you don't want that person to get hurt okay so i feel like some of that message is going to come up but overall virgo um for yourself i feel like it's i don't know if you're going to turn something down and just decide to be friends with someone or now some of you might just say yeah we can you know you can come over and stay the night, but you have to leave the next day. Some of you might be like that. Don't get all self-righteous in the chat. I don't do that. Like, come on, get over it. Some people do. It's not for you to judge and nobody's judging you. But I think it's like really important that you hear the message. You might just take a step back this time and really think it through. Okay, because I see you weighing options here. I see you not wanting to fall into um, a fantasy or get involved in something. Or, um, you know, what if somebody dips? They could be making all these proclamations and, they, you know, we're going to do this and we're going to do that. And then, you know, if you rush back in and then it's like, oh, well, okay, well, what if they become noncommittal? They're just dreaming. It's a pipe dream. Yeah, Virgo, I feel like you're really, really, really going to just put somebody on hold 
and you might give some an excuse. <laughs> like I said, you know, um, you're going to have to make an appointment. We'll talk about this later. You can't just come back in here and just do this out of the blue. Like we got to talk about it later. Mostly though, Virgo, I feel like that's more of like a distraction. Um, so that you can maintain a sense of cool <laughs> for yourself because I kind of get a sense of like, you know, if some of you have wanted this with someone and they're doing it, um, some of you might just kind of go into like shock mode, like you can't believe this is happening and just kind of push them off. And, you know, not, not that you want to push them off, but some like it's a trauma response, like fight or flight stuff going on here. And I feel like your energy is because it comes in so fast. It's just out of the blue with the eight of wands. It comes in so fast. And it's like, what the what? What? You want to jump. But yeah, that three of swords. Now, is this person like I so when I initially pulled this card, OK, it popped out of the popped out of the deck and it fell sideways. So I, the message on both upright and reverse is that there's definitely an apology coming in and a healing energy and it sometimes can represent recovery after some kind of loss or, um, you know, like healing of some sort. But in the upright, it can represent, um, you know, arguments, um, heartbreak, divorce, depression, you know, stuff like that. So I kind of feel like, you know, if the swords are still in there for you, this could be a reason why you're like, um, hold the phone. I'll, I'll call you back. Leave a voicemail with, with that damn proposal because you might still be angry or hurt. Um, and for others, the swords might still be in there and you see how heavy these sword handles are. They're going to just, they're just going to fall away and the healing can begin. But no matter what, the scars are there, right? And scars are not open wounds. Scars are closed wounds, okay? And I feel like if your wounds are closed and you don't want to risk reopening those wounds again, then maybe you need to just say no, okay? Um, because for some, the trust is so... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Just so bad that there's just no way to recoup this unless Jesus came down from the throne and sat next to you and your person and like, you know, did some parables and ate some fish and some bread and just sat and talked for days on end. And then you guys are like, Jesus was here and he's all right with it. So let's do it. Unless that's happening, some of you are like, nope, I would rather risk getting new wounds than reopening those old ones because for some of you they're really deep right okay so I kind of feel like yeah this whoever this person is is coming in with this offer um to reconnect or have something with you like I said it could be a long lost father or mother family member or friend um I listen I feel like Virgo you're going to be standing like a I don't know, Mission Impossible here with this Page of Swords, just like with your, your gun up in the air, like, don't come near me, stay away or I'll cut you. Some of you are <laughs> definitely like, because I feel like people are a person or some someone's coming out of the woodwork. And I feel like you're kind of like on guard, like you got a little Johnny Depp action, Pirates Caribbean stuff going on here. Like you are 100%, what the heck was his name? I can't remember his name in the, I know you guys are going to post it. Johnny Depp's character. I have a short-term memory loss. Did you know that? It, it's just been hitting me a lot in the past few years. What the heck? It's going to come to me when I stop thinking about it. Um, it's kind of like flux capacitor. My friend and I were trying to, <laughs> she was calling it a catalytic converter. And I was like, I don't think they make catalytic converters anymore. She... I don't know, somehow she was like, I don't know, what's that thing from Back to the Future in that car? And we couldn't remember it. And then one day we were driving and she's in the passenger seat. And out of nowhere, it's all quiet. She goes, flux capacitor. So it's going to be one of those situations. Um, it's on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, I know you guys are, I know you guys know who I'm talking about. So you got that energy going on, right? Um, I feel like 
Oh, Virgo, I don't know that you're going to be ready for this change. For some of you, this is something that you want. But when push comes to shove, somebody coming in here and actually bringing it to you, the very thing, there's an old saying, be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. Well, you're getting it, Virgo. And like I said, it's not going to be for all of you, but this is going to come in out of the blue, this, uh, this offer to reconnect with this person. And I feel like as soon as it comes, you're going to freeze or fight back and say no. Um, and it's just maybe because it's so soon. And some of you are just like not ready. Some of you got have been, you know, getting into the groove of living your life and enjoying yourself and really getting, you know, positioning yourself and spending, you've been dating yourself in a lot of ways for some. And you might just be like, you know what, I'm really digging this time with myself and I three's crowd pal so beat it you might just kind of be like that you know um but you might not you might just say well maybe in a few months or something i mean listen virgo i have to tell you something this is a card of boundaries okay <clears throat> The only time people are not okay with you putting up boundaries are people who are trying to manipulate or take something from you. People who are healthy will respect your boundaries. People who are secure within themselves will respect your boundaries. Some of you are going to put some dukes up. You are going to put your walls up a little bit. You are going to be hesitant about accepting an offer. And Virgo, I say that if you're not sure about doing that, you 100% should do it because that's going to weed out whether or not somebody's secure and really, truly ready. If they're not, they're going to throw a fit. They're going to turn it all around and be like, I came here with my tail between my legs and this is how you treat me. You're no good. In it. And then you're going to know. Like you, you got to stand up. You don't have to fight. You just have to stand in your defense, stand up for yourself in your own defense, right? Not out of being mean, not out of anything else. I mean, it's coming in real fast here, but you you need to test if somebody really, truly is healthy and loves you and wants this healing um, and there's a history or a past with this person and there was a lot of damage done and they come in and they're not willing to respect that you're still healing, look, You've got this tourniquet on your head, okay? Uh, you're still getting migraines from something. So if they're not willing to respect that, and then they, you know, fly off the handle, then it's a no. But, you know, if they come forward, you know, and they're like, okay, I am ready for the change. I see that you're not quite yet, um, but I'm not going to let you go, and I'm not going to give up. Um, but I'm going to be patient and give you the space that you need to come forward to do what you need to do to make the decision. Okay. And, uh, you can let me know and I'll, I'll be here for you. You know, I'll be here that that's supportive energy. That's someone who's respecting you. Okay. Um, whenever you're ready, whenever you've got the time and you want to sit down and talk or just go have some drinks and work through things, I'm ready for you. I'll be here. I'm not going anywhere because I mean it this time point blank period so that's your reading in reverse and then it was forward and then it was reverse a little and then maybe we went to the left and the right but whatever it worked out this is your reading i'm not going on too much longer now because it's getting late and i have to get this video uploaded so i will leave that there for you i'm not going to do any names or charms or anything like that or dates i feel like this was just a very simple message and the fact that i've now spent over an hour and a half two hours getting it together <laughs> i'm just gonna send it so uh yeah don't forget follow me on facebook the link is i don't know either corner right up here it's not the link it's the address you can follow me on facebook i'm pretty active on there you can follow me on instagram all the social media stuff is all the links are below and also in february i will be doing a holiday valentine's special for personal readings at a discounted price so definitely keep your eyes on that the link to book a reading is below and um go eagles okay love you guys see ya